I would never pimp. I would never want to sell people's daughters' pussies. Think about it, man. When you're fucking these, when you're nutting on these bitches' faces and fucking and all that, these are people's daughters you're fucking. And if you have kids or if there's anybody out there with daughters, don't you realize there's going to be a man out there that's going to fuck your daughter and nut on her face one day? So you got to kind of have a little bit more compassion for women. Think about it, dude, because you're, you, you could potentially have a daughter that's in, it's inevitable for that she's going to get fucked one day and suck some dick one day. So you got to kind of, you got to kind of have compassion for women just off the strength that you're probably going to have a daughter one day unless you get lucky and have all boys. Let's keep that shit 100%. That's the fucked up part. That's the butterfly effect of having a daughter. Five daughters. Now, how would you like to come home to five, five human beings that you knew were going to get fucked and sucked every day? Like, <laughs> these, these little girls that you're holding in your lap and throwing in the air and all that kind of shit, one day you're going to be getting thrown in the air and landing on dick. Like, I just, I just couldn't deal. Like, you got to deal, but at the same time, it's just such a lackluster feeling. I want to come home to my sons. Like, yeah, it's cool to have a couple of daughters or something, but I need boys. Please, please, the creator, please bless me. Please allow this sperm that's, that's mixing up in my testicles to create something that's going to shoot fast enough. Go faster. You know, boy sperms are faster. Please allow my boy sperms to go faster, so fast that they don't even give the girl sperms enough chance to, you know, to break through that egg. Girl sperms are slower. I need all my boy sperms to shoot first. Please, please, the creator, allow me to have sons. Allow me to not deliver female species into this world. I want heirs. Please, the creator, allow me. Allow my firstborn to be an heir to my throne to have my last name to carry it on to carry on the torch i don't want my legacy to die with daughters please allow me sons and maybe daughters after if you please any bitch that would suck up a young kid for some money that's what i'm saying like most a lot of women are created just to get fucked Imagine like you have a daughter and her only purpose is to just suck and fuck some other nigga and create his kids and destroy your legacy. Or get paid to suck and slob all over other men's cocks. Get paid to lay back open legs and just get the clitoris banged on with the dick first, rubbing on it, then slide in. Like imagine the probability and chances of everybody in this chat having a daughter that's gonna grow up to twerk, suck dick, get back shotted, busted on, face nutted on, titties nutted on, on her knees sucking a dick is 99.9%. That's how I don't see how men can have daughters and be like, yeah, I love my baby girl. Like, you know what your baby girl gonna do one day, right? I'm not about to say none of that. We just got have a cool relationship. I know you're going to grow up, get fucked, suck dicks, get back shot it, ride cocks, stroke, stroke dickheads. Like there's no reason for me to get all extra close and bring you in and all like you still going to do what you do. Stop with the bullshit, nigga. You made me cut on this game for that fake ass shit. It's life, man. Well, shit, I don't want nothing to do with it. Here's what's gonna happen. Me and my daughter, we gonna be straight. As soon as I find out she lose the V, I don't got nothing else to say to you. I would like four sons, five sons, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Shit, as many sons as I could have, I want them all. Honestly, though, what? Let me ask you niggas a question. Honestly, what more would I do? What more would I need to say to my daughter if I, like, if she starts sucking on dicks and fucking? Like, what kind of relationship are we gonna have? You already went out there and explored men. 
What else do we need to speak on? If she like girls and shit, we could vibe. But for me to just continuously have a continuous relationship with my daughter when she's already sucking on other men's cocks and getting back shot at, like, we don't have nothing else to talk about. The relationship at that point is weird from that point on. Like, you're no longer a little girl to me. You're a woman out there getting banged, back shot at, sucking, fucking, taking nuts, busting on nuts, squirting all over dicks. Like, just the thought of, like, I couldn't rock with my daughter no more just off the thought and the strength of her just fornicating it in itself like i don't want to be like let's just have a daughter and she comes over and she had a kid like i gotta look at a pregnant daughter i don't see how dads process that shit i really don't because me like i could be a a 60 year old man right and have like a, a 30 year old daughter and she comes over pregnant or with her kids i'm gonna feel weird because somebody laid you down and fucked you when you were my daughter at a point in time and I got to sit over and play grandpa, like, nah, I'm cool. I just couldn't do it. Nigga, it doesn't matter how, listen, let me tell you something. You know how many females I knew with good ass dads and parents that were still out here bouncing on cock, sucking on dicks, on knees, blurping and twerking dicks. It don't matter how good of a father you are. Your daughter is going to suck and fuck. It doesn't matter how good of a father or good of a household that girl comes from. She's still going to do things like that. As soon as you discover sex as my daughter, our relationship on that kind of level is dead. I don't got nothing else to say to you. You already, you already laying on your back, taking dicks. I don't got nothing to say to you. My job, my job is this. I'm going to tell my daughter this. If I have a daughter, I'm going to tell her this. I'm going to be like, look, when she gets old enough to talk, I'm going to be like, listen, I am a man that knows everything about men. If you disobey anything I say up until the age I get you, up until the age of 21, and you're out here getting tossed back, sucking, fucking, jacking, stroking, busting, getting nuts busted on you, letting people record you getting fucked, back shot it and everything like that. Listen, I'm going to tell you this. I'm not fucking with you no more. But a simple fact that I feel very strongly about a woman holding her body as a temple. Now, listen, I'm never going to like the fact that I'm going to see you pregnant one day, you know, spewing out another man's legacy and ruin it a version or not a version, but uh, an area of mine. But listen, as soon as you start fucking and sucking, me and you, that relationship is gone. You can holler at me here and there, say what's up. But for the most part, that us going out to dinner and having pizza and everything like that, when I know you're out here fucking and sucking, me mentally, I won't be able to process it, deal with it. It'll feel weird being next to you when I know you're out here fucking and sucking on dicks. I just, I can't do it. So that's my, that's my probability for you. That's my clause. You have to save your pussy for 21 years. It is my job to make sure that you grow up successful. So that to the point where you don't need nothing from me, you can go out there and fuck and suck as many niggas as you want. Because as soon as you explore sex, it's going to feel weird that I'm around you and I just can't rock with you like that. And I'm going to just be dead facts. I'm going to be dead serious about that shit too. I just can't have no relationship with a daughter that I had that's out here fucking and sucking or she want to come over with her boyfriend and everything like that. I can't do that. I know you're fucking my daughter. Why would I want you around my presence and kicking it with you and got to meet you and everything like that? What's the point? I'm going to be a blatant ass dad just like that. Dad, you don't want to meet my boyfriend? I'm going to be like, listen, whatever the fuck her name is. Let me think of a name. Hmm. Listen, um, cathedral. Hold on, that's not good. That's two nigga type shit. Listen, um, damn, what kind of name could you name a girl? Fuck, help me out, niggas. No, no black shit. 
I want I want Caucasian names only. Harmony, I like that. Jasmine, nah, I fucked too many of those. Rebecca's, nah, I got topped up by too many Rebecca's. Fucked a lot of Ashley's. Fucked some Karen's. Fucked some Jessica's. Fucked a lot of Jennifer's. Fucked some Cassandra's. Fucked a lot of Britney's. Fucked some Veronica's. Fucked some Joanna's. Fucked some Denise's. Fucked a lot of Danielle's. Um, Susan, I haven't fucked a Susan, so... Let's just go with Susan. So, um, yeah, fuck some Chelsea's. So, let's just go with Susan. It so Susan sounds like something I've never tainted before, right? So she's gonna come over. I mean, she's gonna be like, Dad, like, she's gonna be like, Dad, you wanna be my boyfriend? I'm gonna be like, Oh, you got a boyfriend, huh? She's like, Well, yeah, I like that. I'm like, yeah, I've been dating him for quite some time. We're like, listen, after everything I told you, you're going to tell me you're still dating someone when I told you a man's main goal is to fuck you. Like, Dad, why do you have to be so vulgar? I'm like, listen, I told you. This is the way I raised you. You be straight up with me, I'm straight up with you. No cut corners, no sugar coat, no birds, bees. Listen, this is the way the world is. Any man that, that approaches you in any kind of way is trying to fuck you. They smile. They're trying to fuck you. They say hello. They're trying to fuck you. Anything a man does, they're trying to finesse you out of your drawers. They want to take you to a movie, it's leading up to them fucking. They want to go get ice cream, they're trying to fuck. They want to go to a park, they're trying to fuck. I'm telling you, right now, Suzanne, everything a man does towards you in any gesture is to slide inside you. And the day you do that, me and you can't rock like that no more. Your mom is still here. I'm always going to be here as a father. Like to the point where if you got some advice, I'll talk to you from the side, but I won't really be able to look at you because you'll be tarnished from that point. But listen, all right, bring this nigga in real quick. Dan, why do you have to be? S Just bring the nigga in real fast. She comes in with her boyfriend. I'll be like, listen, let me ask you a straight up question. Hold on. She can stay a virgin. But like I said, once my daughter starts smashing and having kids, like, I, what are we going to do? Go out for coffee when I know you out here having kids and getting fucked? I'll be like, listen, bring it. Go ahead and bring your boyfriend in. She'll be like, all right, dad, whatever. Fuck. I don't know why you have to be so fucking rude. I'm like, listen, didn't I raise you with more cognitive focus? We don't cry in this family. She's like, you know what? You're right. That was fake. I was trying to, I was trying to just make you feel a little bit emotion. You've never shown me emotion, dad. I'm like, obviously, that's the way I am. So she would have brought the dude in. I would have looked at him, analyzed it, I'd be like, let me ask you a question. What's the reason why you fucking with my daughter? He'd be like, well, what do you mean? What is the reason that you are fucking with my daughter? What attracted you to my daughter? What is the point of you speaking to my daughter? Let's keep it 100% factual right now. I would have put down my drink. It wouldn't have been alcohol. I would have just put down my juice or something like that. I'm like, swole, still in shape, intimidating ridiculously like let's sit down right now have a seat right there you tell me right now why are you fucking with my daughter he'd have just been sitting there like nigga, don't get lost for words nigga answer the fucking question why did you initially holler at my daughter well i thought that she was beautiful listen let me stop you right there my nigga you thought she was beautiful aka you you wanted to fuck correctly you thought that my daughter was good enough to fuck, so you approached her. Now you guys are dating, fucking, whatever. Listen, let me tell you something. I know you like the back of a book. I don't need to know your pers your personality. I don't care about how how much of a gentleman you try you're trying to be. You're a waste of space. You're erasing a piece of my legacy right now by fucking. You guys take your shit out of there. Holler at your mom. I'm out of here. I'm gonna go do some other shit. I'm I'm off to the gym, honey. Peace out. And I would have just left. I don't want no fucking daughters at all, especially in this society and this generation. I don't want no fucking daughters. Everything that I have ready mentally, everything is for is for boys only. 
if she's 30 and started her own family, it would still feel weird going over there knowing that she has a husband that's fucking her. It was, it's just a weird thing for me. Like, I wouldn't even want to, like, if I had a, a daughter and it was a baby, I wouldn't even want to, like, change the baby's diaper because it's just weird that I have, like, a girl. I don't know. I would have just, I'd be like, listen, just, I would just tell the mom, like, can you change the diaper? Because, like, Mixed is black. What you talking about? I most likely will have no children from black women. They'll probably be either biracial or another ethnicity. I mean, uh, hold on. The woman would be either biracial or it would just be from a completely different ethnicity. Would I, would I be proud if I had a son that was smashing? It's not about being proud. It's just I could teach a son more. I have my whole everything lined up to teach a, a, a boy how to be a man. I don't have no plans for no fucking daughter. Because eventually, no matter what I teach a girl, she's going to do whatever she wants against my will anyway. Ima like I said, dude, imagine having a fucking goddamn daughter, right? And you just happen to run across her Instagram and she fucking showing ass or twerking or showing cleavage like... Can you imagine that? Like, how does a dad feel? Do you ignore it and keep it pushing? Or like, like, how, you know? Like, how do dads feel? Ah, oh, like just, the, I'm getting goosebumps even thinking about the, just the gross feeling I would feel. And I'm not being sexist or anything. I just don't got nothing planned for no girl, no daughters. I don't want females, period, in my family. I don't want to have no fucking daughters at all. Exactly. Imagine your daughter being a porn star. What a waste of life, right? Imagine having a daughter that's a porn star. What a waste of child. You worked for this kid. You provided for this kid. Fed this kid. Clothed to this kid. And this girl comes out as a fucking porn star? Oh, nigga, trust me. This own is going to be my, my favorite word. And I'm so good at sticking to what I say. As soon as I catch my daughter in any... If I find out any sexual acts at all, you're cut off mentally from me. I won't even look at you no more. She'll be like, Dad, like, hey, Dad. I'll be like, sup. Like, she'll be right here. I'll be like, yo. How was work? Blah, blah, blah. What you mean, how was work? I always grind. What do you mean? Matter of fact, I won't even be at the house. I plan on being rich. So I'm not, I'm, it's never going to be no come in for breakfast and toast and eggs and bacon type shit. I'll probably be on the road and doing some shit anyway. Nigga, Prem, don't tell me shit, my nigga. I grew up with a sister. I know what the fuck it is to grow up with a young girl that starts liking boys and all that kind of shit. It's not about not loving. It's about your daughter becoming tarnished one day. Don't ever try to tell me no shit like that. There's nothing joyful about having a little ass girl. I want boys only. I want little mini me's. I could cut their hair if I need to. If they go to the barber shop, I could be like, nah, I don't like that fade. That's not crispy enough. I could teach them how to be bomb athletes. Tell them how to just really get through this world without getting fucked over. Like, I could really mold a boy. I don't have nothing for a daughter. So don't tell me, oh, you gonna love it. Oh. Like, what type of nigga would I be? You know, the baby gets delivered out the vag. I'm just sitting here holding a girl like, oh, oh shit, that's my little girl. I'm gonna be thinking like, damn, she gonna get tossed back one day. Well, let me throw over my shoulder, feed her and shit till she get 18 or whatever the fuck and boom. I would not be excited. I would not be happy or nothing in the delivery room. I don't care how much me and the, the BM got along, loved each, well, not love each other. She probably loved me, but I wouldn't love her. Um, none of that. I just wouldn't be excited. Nigga, what I'm talking about has nothing to do with karma. So shut your black dumb ass up. 
The fuck does that got to do with karma, nigga? Me having a preference is karma? Shut your black ass up. Typical ass nigga. You don't like what the fuck I'm saying? Keep your bitch ass out of my fucking conversation. Nigga, I'll never change my motherfucking perspective. No offense to anybody here that has daughters, but I don't want no fucking goddamn daughter. There's nothing fun about coming home. Imagine this. Have you guys seen those niggas that have like four daughters and come home to all girls? Nigga, how do you feel? How the fuck would you feel coming home from work or whatever the fuck and it's just nothing but girls? You don't got no boys, all fucking females. Nigga, what? Nigga, I'd be... I'll drive around the neighborhood five, six times. Like, I'll be like, damn, I gotta really fucking go in this bitch. Shit. Whip around again. Like, damn, I really... Fuck. Hey, for all you niggas that have daughters, good for you. But for somebody like myself, I don't have no use for a daughter. I'm not a sexist. I'm a I'm somebody who prefers what I want. I don't want daughters. I want nothing but sons that's going to spread my legacy across this globe and live on and be great. I'm on some LeVar ball shit. Man, somebody time this dumbass nigga out. Get the fuck out of here, bitch ass nigga. Give a fuck if you green or not. Time that retarded ass nigga. How the fuck you gonna convince me over my preference? If y if anybody here is getting offended off my preference, you're a dumbass nigga. It's what I want. Brock Lesnar could be the biggest, strongest nigga all he wants. But when he's out here wrestling on this road, one day somebody might toss. Vince McMahon, you know, wonderful person. He got to watch fucking Triple H have a, you know what I'm saying? Like, I just, that's just not my, my thing. Anybody in there getting offended, you're weak-minded. You should be like, oh, you know, that's just what LTG thinks, but I love my daughter. Like, if you're really confident about your love, about your daughter, if you got a daughter right now and a kid, and you really love your daughter, what I'm saying, it shouldn't affect you. This is my preference, my life, what I want. This ain't got shit to do with you niggas. This is my opinion, my life. Vince got a son, though, with four grandsons from him. Hold on. Triple H and Stephanie got four kids? It don't matter regardless. Triple H still had to bang to get those. So it don't matter. There would be nothing joyful about that. Unless their last names were McMahon, I wouldn't be joyful about that. I didn't say I wasn't going to love the kid. I just don't look. I would never look forward to having a little girl. At all. Yeah, what the fuck happened? If my son's gay, shit, I'm gonna disown his ass too. <laughs> oh, no, I'm just fucking with you. But, I mean, honestly, yeah, I'd rather have a gay son than have a daughter. Dead facts, because as long as he was a masculine gay, we cool. I said, just be masculine. If you're going to be gay, be the one that's backshotting, booty busting and everything and taking charge. Don't be the nigga that's bent over, sucking and twerking. That's all I ask. I mean, it's 
There's also ugly girls. What if I have ugly girls, nigga? Who cares, nigga? They still get tossed back by somebody. The ugliest women on earth get fucked. How many times have you guys been to Walmart, Target, or B&B or some store when you just see a bitch with mad kids and you be like, who fucked? So it don't got nothing to do with your daughters being good looking or ugly. Somebody's going to toss that shit back. I promise you that. Somebody's going to get topped. Somebody's going to back shot, bust in. Come on now. We see, I see ugly women, ugly ass women with hella kids daily. That shit don't mean nothing. Somebody will bang. If my daughter's dating a baby, I'm disowning her. But by the time I have a daughter that's grown, that nigga be old as fuck. How could I have a daughter that's trans? That don't even make sense, my nigga. What are you talking about? Now, if my daughter was a stud, shit, we good. So if I got a daughter that's a straight up stud, ooh, come through. You gonna bring your girl over too? Bad facts. All right, cool. I'll take a lesbian daughter as long as she's not accepting cock. We straight. I definitely wouldn't be able to have no happiness. Imagine a gender reveal and it's a fucking girl. I'll just stand there like, uh, I guess. Yep, just walk back and I was turn on the game exactly. What what actual real man would be happy there about that? A fucking daughter. Like you got to be a delusional ass nigga to not know what's going on in the world, to have a gender reveal or find out you're having a girl and you're happy. Do you realize what's gonna happen to your precious little girl in fucking eighteen, not even eighteen years? What's gonna happen in fourteen years, fifteen years, sixteen years? 12 years, 13 years. Not happy about that shit. It's not about raising a right, nigga. I knew girls that had dads in their life a thousand percent still was getting backshotted and sucking niggas' dicks in movie theaters. That doesn't mean shit. You could raise it. You could raise a daughter as good as you want. She's still gonna get backshotted and fuck niggas one day. And you gonna have them over for dinner. You gonna have your girl. You gonna have your your daughter over for dinner with her with her boyfriend. The nigga that's digging her out while they sit at the dinner table. While he's fucking your creation. You got me fucked up. Imagine you having a daughter, right? She's like, Dad, I got a boyfriend. First thing that's going to pop in my head is, whoop, daughterhood is over for you. I don't got nothing else to say. Talk to your mom. What do you mean it's over? You're a woman now. What you need to talk to me? You can talk to your mom. If she wants to have a boyfriend, it's her choice. I don't know what kind of guy you are. You're definitely not an alpha talking like that. I don't give a fuck if it's a nice nigga or what. He's still digging your daughter out. To me, like I said, once my daughter decides to fuck, if I have a daughter one day and once she decides to fuck, our relationship is over. Because I taught you everything you needed to know about men and everything. Once you, once you fuck a nigga and go into womanhood, I ain't got nothing else to talk to you about. That relationship is over. Once you step into womanhood, holler at your mom. I'm not going to be across the table from somebody that's getting dug out and sucking dicks. Nah. That's my daughter? No. We ain't got nothing else to talk about.
she could do what she wants. But as soon as she enters womanhood, I ain't got nothing to do with it. My job is done. Like I said, I raised you, clothed you, fed you, and when you went out in the streets and started fucking niggas, our relationship is done. I don't have nothing else to say to you. That's why you have two parents, and that's why you have multiple kids. If she gay, we could have a relationship for the rest of her life. But as far as dating men, when I know how niggas work and I know how men work from the in and out, yeah, I'm never going to approve of that. And here's another thing, too. In order, let's just say my daughter wants me to walk her down the aisle. When she gets married, I'm going to need 50 bands from her husband. Because you got to pay for my fucking presents. If I'm going to walk down the aisle and deliberately give my daughter away for you to fuck her that night, I need 50 bands. If you can't afford to pay me 50 bands, you don't got my fucking blessing. Have her dad walk her ass. Have her dad... Hold on, have his dad walk her ass down the aisle. The fuck I look like walking down my creation down the aisle so a nigga could fuck her that night and I'm not getting a bag off of it. It's the same thing that, that kings and Egyptians and all that shit used to do, right? Everybody in ancient times used to give their daughters away. But before the guys could marry them, they had to come with some sort of treasure. They, what, that, that shit's been around. Motherfuckers used to have to give up cattle, chest of gold, land, all types of shit for their daughter. So what the fuck could I look like walking down my daughter down the aisle? I need 50 bands. They used to do that shit in history. You wanna marry my daughter? Okay, I need two boxes of gold. I need cattle. I need a, I need a piece of your land. On top of that, I need a treaty. On top of that, I need half of your army just in case I go to war with motherfuckers. But yet, we supposed to walk our daughters, our future daughters down the aisle for free to a nigga that's gonna fuck? No. I know what you, I know what you want to do with my daughter as soon as you looked at her anyway. But I'm going to allow you to do that for free? Nah, motherfucker. And I'm sorry, if you can't pay me 50 bands, you're not worth marrying my motherfucking future daughter in the first place. Objects? To the man that they're about to marry, I guess they would be an object that they can fuck. Because... Why is a man even attracted to your daughter in the first place? Because he found her good enough looking to fuck. No, I feel bad for your future daughter. I feel bad for a nigga like you that's a soft ass nigga. Oh, it's okay if my daughter gets backshotted. We can still go to Denny's tomorrow on Sunday. The fuck? You think, you think that in my future household, I would sit across the table from my creation, which would be my daughter, right? And I'm sitting across the table from my creation is sucking dicks and fucking. And I'm supposed to have a, a conversation across, the, across my table? No. Our relationship is over. I won't even look at my daughter no more when she fucks. That relationship over. All the time I got you suckers, lollipops. Bought you everything you wanted growing up. As soon as you enter womanhood, I don't got nothing else to say to you. You do have your mom, though. Dad, how come we're not close anymore? I'll be like, because you started fucking niggas. I, what am I supposed... You could do whatever you want, but I told you. My job is to teach you about men. Raise you right. And the day you enter womanhood, that's all you. I'm always going to love you and everything like that, but our relationship, like hugs and all that, it's not happening. I want, I want to also tell you I never changed your fucking diaper before. I never even bathed you. I made sure other people did that because I always thought it was weird about having a daughter anyway, but thank you.
yeah like i said that's just that's just my views guys however you niggas want to raise your future daughters that's on you but my views I'm going to be the ultimate dad to you until the day as a woman you decide to let a man in between your legs. After that, my job's done and over. You enter womanhood. There's nothing else I can do for you. Mental, there's nothing else I could do for you mentally, financially, nothing. It's over. Literally, you're for when you the day you have a daughter, she's literally born for somebody else's future in the first place. I don't think a lot of people take that type of shit into realization. I don't know the fuck you are. As soon as your daughter comes out of your girl's vagina, she's literally born for another, another somebody else's son's future in the future. What are my thoughts if my sons are going to backshot girls at 15? Perfect, because you're practicing extending my legacy. We already talked about this. If my daughter is gay, we could be the best of friends. You don't understand that women, we violate women sexually. A woman has to get violated. Like, that's why it's so bad when a woman cheats on you because she gets violated by another nigga. See, it's different if guys, if we fuck, you know, a random side bitch or something like that, we're violating a random bitch. But when your girl cheats, she's getting violated by another nigga. He probably backshotted her. He was in between her legs, slid inside of her pussy stole some of her fucking vagina cream she probably sucked his dick rolled his dick he sucked on her titties he smacked her ass that's why it's so bad so all you niggas out there to forgive bitches for cheating your simps you let your bitch bounce ass on an instagram all that your simps you a cuck only a cuck ass nigga is gonna take a bitch back that cheated only a simp ass nigga is gonna allow his girl to twerk on instagram and broadcast her ass because oh I, I think my girl's sexy no you're a fucking simp only beta ass niggas get down like that I'm, i allow my woman to express herself no you allow your woman to try to entice other men because your ass ain't good enough and you're too stupid to realize it if she hey she could get back shot with a strap on all she want as long as it's not organic dick If I have a daughter, I want her to be a stud. I want studs as daughters. Studs that play basketball and whoop bitches ass. Boxers and shit. I don't want no feminine ass daughters. Out here thotting it up, setting thirst traps, sliding on filters, going to brunch on Sundays. I'm cool, bouncing ass on Instagram, fuck that. How the fuck would you niggas feel as a dad? You run across your daughter's Instagram one day, this bitch having ass pics and shit. I'd be like, see that? I block, I block her ass on Instagram. She come home, wonder why I'm never speaking to her again. That's another thing I want to talk about. How many of you got? How many of you guys know bitches that always talk about? Oh, I'm going to brunch on Sundays with my girls. Why does every bitch try to go to brunch on Sundays? What you want? Going to brunch on Sundays for mimosas with my girls. I'm telling you, man, these bitches are carbon copies, man. And when I say bitches, I'm talking about those types of women. If you don't get down like that, then don't don't take offense to it. But if you do get down like that, then fucking take offense to it. Here's another thing bitches do. Always gotta show they food on the gram. Oh, fat girl Tuesday. Why are you? Well, first off, not only did you take a picture of the food, because that's corny. Second off, you felt guilty about the food, but tried to make yourself not feel guilty because you ate something fucked up in the first place. That's probably gonna fuck up your pH levels. That's probably gonna give you stinking ass shits and farts. But you decided to post a picture of your food to help ease some of the guilt from you eating something you have no fucking business eating in the first place. I 
I'm telling you, man, the majority of women today are exactly the same. I, I'm telling you, most women today all share the same fucking traits. A man is never lonely. As, as long as a man has revenue, he's never lonely. What type of nigga would I be? Oh, I'm lonely. Oh, 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 I need someone in my life. See, the, the, thing about, the thing about what you motherfuckers need to understand, a lot of you simp, weak-ass niggas, you feel like you need to be in the comfort of a woman to feel, to feel good about your life. I need a girlfriend. I need a wifey. I'm tired of being alone. Listen, when you're a nigga that's fucked with so many hoes in life, that shit don't even mean nothing anymore. If you got somebody cool, if not, oh fucking well. I'm not one of those type of niggas that just need a girl. Oh my god, I'm just tired of just not having a bitch. I need a bitch to be here with me and Dexter and Cryo. <laughs> like, damn, can I get a wifey to cook? <laughs> I'm tired of cleaning my own bowls and dishes. I'm tired of I'm tired of meal prepping my own shit. The fuck? I'm telling you, you gotta reach you gotta reach a certain arrogance in your life. Where you're never captivated by women to the point where you feel like you need a woman or you're going to die. Technically, the only thing you need a woman for is to reproduce. You gotta get to that level where you don't even need sex. That's what I'm saying. You guys, all you inexperienced guys in here, go fuck a gang of bitches. Go get a lot of head, go get a lot of pussy. So that one day, you can be just as immensely in tune with yourself as I am to where you just never you don't give a damn if you even fuck because you've done it so many times it don't mean anything to you seem like every most of, most of you weak ass niggas are in, in this timeline is just controlled by pussy well that's every timeline every timeline niggas are controlled by pussy and I was watching the I was just looking at some Floyd Mayweather shit, and it was about, you know, remember when NBA young boy, like, called Floyd Mayweather, you know, he said some shit about Floyd Mayweather, like, her bitch ass daddy, blah, 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 and I wanted to see what Floyd Mayweather, like, if you ever spoke on it, so I found a video, and he said something like, I would never speak bad about, you know, my daughter, this and that. And basically, he said that he wishes her the best, her and her better half the best. NBA young boy was probably, you know, he looked like he strapped, like he might, he could have been going through some shit. He does, you know, a lot of people do syrup, lean, and things like that. And he said once, you know, once his children leave the nest, then that's on that's on them to figure out with their life, right? So technically, and he said, I got one daughter left. So if you really think about the way Floyd Mayweather was talking, he kind of like code. See, that's what smart people do. We talk about shit, but we code shit in the middle. There's nothing left. Somebody else took her innocence, and it's just at that point, me as a me as a man, I don't see how I could have a a close relationship with my daughter after she gets banged. That's just that's my. I'm not dissing niggas that do or, but me personally, I I couldn't do it. Yeah, like to me, once you, once somebody fucks you, I, I I don't know what we could talk about. The 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 interview would be weird. Like for me to to for me to sit here and try to and try to still like like I like you once I don't like you know I just couldn't deal with it. Once my daughter fucks, you know we could be on some dap up shit, cool. But as far as like an intellectual relationship, I just don't think that. It, that there's anything left for me because somebody's already, you know, somebody's already took your innocence at that point. They're your daddy. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't have nothing left at that point. Like, why do I need to meet somebody that's banging my fucking my daughter? It just don't make no sense. Like, I'm sitting here next to a man that's like backshotting my daughter and 
she's sucking him up and all. Like, I just don't want to deal with it. Like, I don't give a fuck if her man has money or not, nigga. I'll be having that paper. That shit ain't family to me. Approve of what? Whether I approve of a man or not, my daughter is still going to do what she wants to do. Now, regardless of what I teach her, she's still going to do what she want to do. I knew plenty of chicks growing up that had solid father backgrounds, but were still on their knees sucking cocks, getting nuts busted on faces, backshotted, pussies eating, riding faces, everything. So it doesn't matter if a chick has a good dad in her life. She's still going to go out there and get this dick. One game of Street Fighter V, I can't do it. Wait until Dan comes out. So, I couldn't do that. For one game of Street Fighter Another thing I couldn't do, I know this is going to sound real fucked up. I know this is going to sound real fucked up. But, um... Another thing, too, let's just say I have a son that has kids, right? I'm a granddad. I have a daughter that has kids. I'm a granddad. Anybody know what I'm going to say next? I'll make one exception for my daughter's kids. I'll tell you when we're done. Now, my daughter's grandkids, they belong to that nigga's parents' legacy. My son's grandkids belong to my legacy because my son's grandkids got my last name. There's no way in hell I want to wait nine months just to find out I'm having a fucking daughter. Mm -mm. Paid to get twin boys. Shit, he should pay. Sex selection is everything. You shouldn't be forced into what you have. You should have what you want. Nigga, I would never do a gender reveal. Nah. I would never do a fucking gender reveal. I see that it's pink balloons. I won't even... My face is already going to be straight as fuck anyway. I do a gender reveal and there's pink balloons. What, you expect to see excitement? I'll just be like... Well, that's a waste of nine months. All right, as soon as this one comes out and it's and we can fuck again, let's get another one popping and let's see what we get. This time, we'll try to go to sex selection. Fuck a gender reveal. You know how many gender reveals I've seen where men looked upset? seen something online today that I thought was kind of up. Now the reason why I wanted to touch bases on this particular topic is because I always talk about this type of shit, right? I've seen an article that says, check this out, I've seen an article that says homeowner killed after confronting teen who climbed through upstairs window to see daughter. Now if I'm going to really animate this situation, I'm going to guess what happened. What happened was I guess maybe the guy might have caught his daughter or caught the guy or something like that, checked on his daughter, caught the guy or maybe caught the guy climbing up, tried to come at him irate. And I guess maybe the kid had a gun. Clearly he took the gun thinking that if I get caught, I'm gonna pop her pops. I'm gonna pop her dad. So he went there with somewhat of intentions that if he gets into a scramble with the dad and he might've warned the daughter and said, listen, if I come over, and your dad starts tripping, I'm going to have to smoke him. She probably thought it was a joke. Invites the kid over anyway. Now remember, she invited the kid over. So I'm going to guess that the dad got irate, tried to charge at the kid. Maybe the kid got scared, pulled out his gun. The father, I think, multiple times. Let me go ahead and look at it real quick. So it happened around 8 a.m. So he was just maybe 
coming out after a session or something like that. So he was, I don't know if he was sneaking out of the house. He was there all night. Now it says, basically it happened around 8 a.m. at a house and on Hayfield Drive, police initially described the incident as reported break-in, but the suspect was there to see an underage girl. And it says, such and such, 34 the girl's father and homeowner died from gunshot wounds. So he got shot multiple times, basically, and a 17 year old. So why did they even point out the fact that she was underage when the guy was 17? Oh, the, it says the victim's daughter was 14. Okay, 15, 16, 17. So your daughter knew what she was doing. Now, the type of society we live in and based on the area, there's different ways that the situation could have actually been handled. Now me, let's just say if I was the guy that had the daughter. So everybody knows how I feel about having daughters in the first place. So as a dad, especially if you happen to be a dad in 2021 and you got a teenage daughter, there ain't nothing you can do about this type of shit. Their role models are Megan Thee Stallion, Cardi B, hot girls, they like Kylie Jenner. They like women that might be broadcasted as promiscuous. So you got a 14 year old daughter, you probably should have known what she was up to if a dude was in her room. It's not like he broke in to fuck. Your daughter invited him in to bang. Unfortunately, this father, young father lost his life because he tried to play captain save a daughter and got shot multiple times. Now, back to what I was saying, in this society that we live in, there's nothing you can do. Even when I was a kid, there's nothing you could do. My mom said, don't use profanity. As soon as I left the house, I was cussing up a storm. F this, F that. My mom had us in church every Sunday. I didn't give a damn. I didn't give two flying capital Fs what she told me. When I got out to the streets, I wanted to do what I wanted to do. And what parents today need to understand, even though I don't have kids, so I can't tell you how to parent, but I was a kid that had a parent. So I can still relate even though I don't have kids is you can't control kids. How I would have handled the situation is, first off, I would be a dad to know what's going on, right? You know, teens are walking around with guns and things like that, especially if you're in a particular area. You know how people are walking around now. It looks like this was in Louisiana, so you know what it is already. I would have caught the kid, I'd have been like, yo, let me talk to you for a second. I'm not even gonna try to, this isn't a fight, nothing. Let me talk to you for a second. How did you get in my house? What happened, this and that? He would have said, oh, your, your daughter invited me up. All right, go home, live another day. Instead of getting mad at the kid for sneaking in and my daughter invited in, I would talk to my daughter. Now, am I gonna slap her upside her head, cut off her hair, humiliate her? No, because this is society, you know, this is the society we live in. Whether you like it or not, when you have daughters, this is the type of shit they do when they're of that kind of age, especially when we live in an environment where everything is sexualized. Women's role models are sexualized. Women's role models are not Beyonce and Mariah Carey anymore. Like I said, they're the Megan, St Megan Thee Stallions, Cardi B's, Mulattos, you know? The chicks they're out now. At first, it was a couple nasty chicks back then. It was like Little Kim, Foxy Brown. That's a long time ago, but that's how much of a gap it was before we got a whole collection of chicks, every record is telling young girls, not directly, but every record is telling women in general to this for a bag, to play this, finesse this, sit on this face. He's gonna eat, squirt all over his mouth. So when these young chicks hear this, as a dad, why would you go irate when you should know what's going on in society? If you know what's going on in society, then you don't storm a 17 year old young man knowing the type of world that we live in knowing that people will pull the trigger quickly so just looking at this topic is very sad i don't know it says both were armed police said still unclear so maybe i'm gonna guess that one of them pulled a gun vice versa it's unfortunately the life has been lost so i don't know if the dad pulled the gun first i don't like, I really just don't know. But goddamn, it's it's very sad to see that a young dude lost his life that had a 14-year-old daughter. So he was already a, a young dad if his daughter was 14 and he was that age. And he died because maybe he didn't handle the situation correctly. 
from simply not knowing what's going on in today's society. Every parent, it is your job, future parents, us as somebody that's gonna be a future parent one day, we should know what's going on in music. We should know what's going on in society, culture, fashion, this, that, so that you can be in tune with your kids so they won't be afraid to talk to you or you can handle situations differently because I would be damned if I'm gonna charge a kid, I don't know what he got, it's a different timeline and I get shot. Let's just say I survive and I need a shit bag or I'm paralyzed because a, a kid shot me because I charged him because he was trying to my daughter like god forbid listen i'm gonna let the kid go home i'm gonna talk to my daughter and parent correctly damn that's all i got on that topic like i said a dude was shot by a 17 year old kid that was visiting his 14 year old daughter damn